Spin. Set up. Throw. Crew Newman is like a lot of 12-year-olds. I want to make it to the NFL. I, that's my dream. And under the watchful eye of quarterback coach John Charles, he's making strides. He's the reason I've got this far. He's helped me be a better role model leader, definitely a better player. That's all good, but to Charles, it comes second to learning safety on the gridiron. To him, that means pads and helmets long before the season starts, so they're second nature. So now he can start working on how to learn how to land, how to fall, how to protect his body. If anyone knows the importance of that, it's Charles. Before opening Air One Football Academy, he was an All-American at PSU and played two years in the pros. He says he and most of his former teammates can relate to some symptoms of CTE, a degenerative brain disease caused by repetitive brain trauma. The side effects are anxiety, you know, depression, uh, mood swings. You know, I've kept that in mind as I train a lot of my kids. He loves football. It's his passion. Crew's mom is aware of the risks, but trusts her son's coaching and where the game is going safety-wise. At this level, it starts with learning to tackle with your head up, leading with another part of your body. If you continue to wear the right gear and with the helmets and being protected and learning how to, to play the game right, then I think I think you'll be okay. Sure, go ahead. Crew hopes the hits he sees on any given Sunday won't even be allowed 10 years from now especially if his dream comes true. So I'm like, dang, that has to hurt. That's kind of rough, and I got to be careful um, for, not, for that not to happen to my teammates or anyone else. The OSAA estimates that over 800 high school athletes in Oregon suffer a concussion every year. And they say while football is at the top of that list, girls and boys soccer and girls basketball are close behind, and all athletes are at risk. Laurel, back to you. Boy, something definitely to stay on top of. Thank you, Catherine.